In times like these, we need to have multiple streams of income. And I know the fleshiness of the wholesale real estate game is booming. But I decided to record a step-by-step -step video series. We're going to break this down about six to ten videos, short, straight to the point, learning why I feel everybody should start flipping raw land if you're not in the real estate game at all, or if you're already in the real estate game, why you should add it to your portfolio as a cash flow position. Now, I'm going to share with you my story, and then I'm going to give you the quick steps in each additional video so you can follow through each one, take action, and actually start building out a portfolio of raw land that's going to throw off passive income or just give you some nice flips, give you those lump sums of cash that you can reinvest into other assets to help you get the financial freedom you're after. Now, if this is the first time you stumbled upon my videos, I truly appreciate you dropping by. My name is Michael Alder. I've been in the real estate game for over 20 years, but really since 2008 on is where I got really serious about the market crash and I dove all in. It was my time. Everything was stupid cheap in Cleveland, Ohio, so you could buy houses for two, three, four thousand dollars and then flip those for you know a two thousand dollar markup. But really, we were doing seller financing deals. Now, this was cool, we were creating cash flow, everything was good, but I didn't know of any other option. I just thought you bought houses and you either seller finance them or you wholesale them off to the next individual or you rehabbed them for a quick flip. You know, the standard model that everybody teaches. What nobody really wants to teach you though is that when you get into this model, there is so many headaches and unforeseen drama that's gonna come up that could really slow your roll on this and keep you from profiting big. Now, a couple things that, before I get into the real crash of my story here, that you gotta worry about is when you get into the residential game and you're wholesaling, there's all these unforeseen things, whether there's violations, liens, city suing you for uh, unkept lawns, for property damage, the list goes on and on. You start to rehab a property, someone kicks in the door. Look, it's never ending at the end of the day. And what was the big turning point for me was about three to four years ago, we started going big for my world. Now, everybody plays at a different level, but we were buying singles and doubles like crazy all over Cleveland, Ohio. We were renovating them, placing tenants in them, and then selling them off or holding them in our own portfolio. Here was the problem with this. We were getting big at a fast rate. We could not find the labor to help us maintain these properties. So at the end of the day, we're evicting tenants. People are breaking in. People are trashing the places. Flights are going on and we're trying to maintain all this hood drama. And at the same time, I'm stuck doing the painting, the cleanup, all these $10 an hour type jobs that I couldn't get anybody to fill the orders on. I was taking that on myself. Now for me, what had happened was roughly two months earlier, Nick Loper from the Side Hustle Show had told me, hey, I connected with a guy who says he has the best passive income model out there. He buys and sells raw land and and in my head, I'm thinking, nah, dude, I got the best passive income model out there. But in that moment right there where I was picking up trash and painting walls and saying, what the heck am I doing with my life? Let me circle back to what Nick was talking about. Listen to that interview. And he was actually interviewing Mark Podolsky. If you're in the land game or you're interested in it, I'm sure his name has popped up. He's one of kind of the OGs in the space there where he was buying raw land, turn around seller financing it for cash flow, and then just sitting back collecting payments. Now, this was super intriguing to me. I reached out to Mark right after the interview. I had a podcast at the time, and I said, hey, I would love to have you on the show, partially for selfish reasons, because I wanted to pick his brain and figure out exactly what he was doing so I could do the same. And at the end of our interview, he said, do you own any land right now? And I did. When the Florida market crashed, I had bought some lots down there because once upon a time, these lots were going for $50,000 and you could buy them for $2,000. So in my head, I said, at some point, these are going to be worth $10,000. So I'll just buy them for two grand right now and sit back and relax. I never thought about cash flow in these things though. Mark said, go ahead and take those properties. At the time, eBay was hot list these on eBay, and then go ahead and get cash flow from the properties. So I made some nice listings on eBay. I sold the lots that I had for 75 down, 75 a month. I think even 90 down, 90 a month at that time. And they started cash flowing for, you know, three to six months, let's say. Now they did default and I was able to resell them again. And then they defaulted and I was able to resell them again. But here's the thing. I never had to set foot in a courtroom. I never had a, you know, physical altercation. I never had death threats. Everything was cool. It was all digital. And I said, this is the passive income model I need to get in on. So if you're interested in creating cash flow from your couch, buying and selling raw land, I have a super simplified model. I'm going to break down all the steps for you in this follow-up series here. You can follow right along. And as always, in all my videos, if you check the description directly below, there's plenty of resources down there that'll help you expand. And we could go more in depth after this series. But just know this right here is the nitty gritty to get you into the game, get you profitable. And then from that point, you can decide if land is for you or if you want to explore other options. So stay tuned for video number two. I appreciate you checking this out. Let's jump into it.